Hi everybody, uh, in this video I will talk about Draw Navigator uh, in uh, the series of React Navigation and uh, we will have multiple uh, buttons as here so you can uh, choose by click to the accordingly uh, button so it will navigate to the uh, screen a as you need so uh, let's start with a blind project uh, here we have a blind project uh, of uh, React Native uh, version 0 uh, 0.51 and this is a version of React Navigation I use it in this example uh, there are a little uh, very few different between this so you can uh, uh, start with uh, here we uh, so firstly we download some of the PNG file or the image file uh, from the internet and you can download this to use for uh, icon so let's start with a new file screen names dot js uh, this file will contain some of the cons constant uh, to define the screen name for example uh, home info uh, setting and cloud uh, so the name here uh, give you a, a convenient way uh, to uh, get the name uh, with the same value so you can uh, reduce the bug while developing a, a large application uh, so inside the component we have a uh, home component .js for defining a, uh, a component in React Native so we have the home component inside the home component we customize uh, the property of a draw label draw uh, draw icon inside the static um, object and uh, uh, this is the main view so uh, we, we have the main view and inside the view we uh, can add uh, uh, some of the view in sizes and uh, customize this as in uh, the design in uh, array uh, so firstly we uh, have the f uh, this is home screen text uh, text component uh, with some of the, the property uh, in uh, after that we have the uh, touchable highlight uh, button and uh, this button uh, have the the, e the event after you clicking to this it will uh, uh, navigate to the info uh, so you can use uh, uh, the function navigate with the input parameter uh, of uh, info screen name Uh, so you import info uh, from uh, screen name file and uh, you import the uh, react and component from react on the react native uh, so you define the background color as a, a constant and uh, you can call this uh, constant anywhere in your class uh, so firstly we have draw label the draw label here home and uh, we also uh, have the uh, draw icon and you can set it in the separate uh, object like let uh, uh, draw icon it is a, a, a neural function and inside this we have uh, an image and the image has a thin color here and uh, it will point to the source or the, uh, the source file in uh, sizes icon uh, home minus icon dot png uh, so you can uh, change it uh, flexible, uh, flexible and uh, using this thin color you also change the color of the icon uh, so let's use a uh, background color and draw icon you can also export draw icon to uh, set the property uh, for this uh, we also have the view so the view here is uh, a header view and uh, multiple screen has this view uh, so you should uh, create a separate component for this and uh, you uh, you define a separate file for this uh, a separate component with the name header component.js uh, so uh, this will contain the header view 
uh, and you can customize the header view inside this component uh, and you um, transfer a property from outside to this uh, so firstly let uh, define the class uh, header component with the view uh, with the main view uh, flash start and uh, align item center uh, so here we have the touchable highlight outside an image and uh, after click, uh, clicking the image it is uh, equivalent to uh, clicking to the table uh, touchable highlight so it will never get to draw open uh, draw open is the name of the uh, open router so you can uh, open the, the draw and close draw depending on the router name and uh, uh, inside the home component you can also uh, add the header component here uh, with the property get from the pop up uh, have home component so it means that it will uh, bring on home component props to header component props uh, so uh, you, ha you have to import the uh, the header component here uh, by import uh, header component from uh, uh, header component .js. so um, you can uh, do the same as with uh, uh, any uh, other component with uh, uh, contains a header so you do the same with the uh, info component uh, so the info component has a way uh, like is the home component but uh, different color uh, different background color uh, so this screen go back go back mean uh, it go back to the previous screen or uh, here it go back to the home screen and uh, you do the same with the uh, third screen uh, the setting component uh, so the setting component we also add the header component uh, in the upper and uh, we uh, do similarly with the cloud component uh, so the, so the cloud component also have uh, the different color and the uh, header component in the upper position so uh, inside the index.js you import the draw navig navigator uh, from uh, react navigation and you import the home component import the uh, info component uh, setting component uh, to here for use uh, inside the draw navigation or the draw navigator so import the screen name and you uh, now initialize the uh, draw navigator with the two parameter uh, router config object and uh, the draw navigator config uh, object so uh, in the router config you can uh, separately add and remove component and uh, in the draw navigator you can uh, set up uh, the for, for the draw in the red lab or right so here we have a home mean screen name so we also have uh, info uh, setting cloud the part is optional it is not necessary but you can add or remove this uh, or using it, it as a router so you can add part or not uh, it is optional so the same with info with setting with cloud uh, we also have some screen uh, accordingly to the info component, setting component, etc. And uh, initial router name means that uh, this is the default uh, screen to open when you open your application. And uh, it will be set to, to home. Uh, and the draw width, what about the draw width? Uh, it is in PCL, but you can uh, set uh, by using the width and height of your, your screen, your window. We have the width and height of the window. Uh, it is uh, it depend on 
uh, the uh, operating system iOS and Android so you can use it for year for for example uh, divided by two the width divided by two or uh, fifty percent of the uh, width and uh, you can add uh, some of the router string here uh, but it is important because uh, yeah, it will be run if you uh, work with uh, this version it is important you uh, must add it is not in the documentation so uh, we can add the uh, activity in color uh, or, or the color when you uh, click to the item then after running and check you can see that it is uh, activity in color red and uh, after clicking this it opens the draw and after click to cloud it navigate to the cloud component and uh, you can uh, use your fingers to swipe left and right to open or close the draw so it is it will navigate to here uh, so you you can also change the draw position to right or left so here if it is in right you can reload and click to this menu yes you can open from right to left so it is a draw uh, position uh, so let's use use left um, you also have to draw background color uh, here I can set uh, to uh, orange and reload so after clicking to this you can see this orange draw background color is orange yes uh, it is very flexible when you uh, set this value depending on your design uh, so what about the order uh, we, we have the default order inside this router config uh, firstly home second uh, info third uh, setting and fourth ground but you can uh, set a new order here uh, using this lid so we have the new order here uh, info for the first uh, setting for second and ground for third etc and um, anything else okay uh, it is the end of my lesson today uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos and you can also download code here in github here uh, thank you so much